Hello there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King and today I am doing another review and today I uh, will be doing it on uh, Papo's new pterosaur that I know many, many of you are having a very hard time to pronounce. So I will say it for you. It is called Tupa Huara. Say it again. Tupa Huara. In fact, I've even written it down. Tu Pu Hua Ra. Alright, so yeah, that's his name. Tu Pu Hua Ra. If you guys want to write that down, feel free. Alright, because, well, thought I might as well spell it for you. So, yes, Papo's Tu Pu Hua Ra. Now, Tu Pu Hua Ra, which name means familiar spirit, is a genus of Thalazodromidae pterosaur that lived 112 to 108 million years ago in the early Cretaceous of Brazil. Now, it had a 5.5 meter wingspan and stood as tall as a man when it was on all fours. And it lived alongside the Spinosaurid Irritator, the Compsognathid Mirachia, the Cedarosaura Santanaraptor, and other pterosaurs, including Ceridactylus, Anhangera, Tapajara, among quite a few others. So, get on to the model itself. Now, as Papa models go, this is one of the smallest. Like, seriously, this thing is tiny, but it's packed with fantastic detail. First off, now the head is quite large. Well, it has to be for a pterosaur. And it's got the nostril, the eye, and it's even got the ear. Just right about here, Get on the head, not on the other side, you can see the ear, it's right here. And the head, well, it's got this very, very large crest. It would have obviously been brightly coloured in the males. Here it's not really brightly coloured. As Papabo models go, you know that they don't normally use bright colours, these are quite dull. Don't really know, but you know, that's just their brand. But yeah, in the male Tupawara, their crest would have been very, very brightly coloured, with maybe like reds, oranges, yellows, blues, to attract the opposite sex. Then going down the body, you can see it's got all this amazing detail. It's sort of in like a running pose, with one arm stretched to the right, while the other one is on the left. So the back feet has got the correct number of digits. It's got three claws on the wings, and it's got four on the back. Which is correct. Now, unlike a lot of other pterosaurs, this Tupawara does not have pycno fibers. It is scaly, because, well, as you know, Papo, they don't intend to go for accuracy. Well, I mean, it's sort of accurate. Well, I'll say it's one of their most accurate, but yeah, there's no pycno fibers, which is a shame, actually, because if they did add them, it wouldn't have been one of their best models. It still is one of their best, but, you know, I just would have added pycno fibers. See with the head, you've got the tongue, toothless beak, as these types of pterosaurs, many of them would have been toothless. So yeah, and then you've got like some sort of like stripes along the arms, spots as well. As for pterosaurs go, it's one of a species you don't normally see, which I applaud, as you now we need more obscure species made for models. It looks quite nice. Now, I am going to compare it, not with the Papa model, but to see how big it compares with its pterosaur brethren. Here is Collector's Quetzalcoatlus with prey from last year. And as you can see, yes, Quetzalcoatlus towers over his friend. Now, this is not like an accurate scale comparison. Because remember, Quetzalcoatlus was as tall as a giraffe. This guy was as tall as a person. So yeah, this is this guy's a very big pterosaur. But yeah, this is basically how it compares to the models. Which one is better? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. But yeah, it's a really, really nice little model. It's packed with loads of detail. And yeah, it's also nice to have it in, you know, not a flying pose, but actually in a quadruple pose, which probably many pterosaurs spent most of their time on the ground. But, of course, they have to go and find food, and they have, like, fish, and whatever else they can find. And with Tupawara, it was probably a fish eater. Although, you know, with the hard, the toothless beak, but who knows, maybe it could have also feasted on a few other little morsels from time to time. 
But yeah, that is my review of the Papo Tupahuara. I hope you liked this video guys. Now I know that a lot of you did like my Tyrannosaurus versus Spinosaurus video. That was requested by Lois Duran. And so yeah, so if you guys have any other sort of like requests for videos, um, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, my next review, I will start reviewing the Carnegie ones that I've got, as well as the Safari 2, which I will probably leave for last. So, um, yeah, I hope you like this video, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And, yeah, I shall see you in the next video. So, please take care and have a great day.